gentlemen and ladies thought I'd do a little video here from the freedom bench sitting here looking at some piping that an acquaintance of mine had sectioned it's a piece of three inch schedule 40 with a four inch 300 pound and a two inch 300 pound a105 flange the pipe's been sectioned and the reason it's been sectioned is you notice the outside there's no corrosion no appreciable corrosion coating still in good shape but what i wanted to show you is the inside this was a series of piping that was inspected by profile radiography let's see if i can get some side lighting in here to show some of the corrosion to identify some corrosion slash erosion. Uh, cavitation induced, but corrosion from the damage mechanisms in the salt water and other stuff. Anyway, what we're seeing is we're seeing the two inch branch on the four inch piping. This is the four inch four by two T. And you notice that there's corrosion in the two inch neck and then downstream of the weld, right as the neck of the T starts, you have pitting, maybe cavitation, maybe both, in the body of the T. Some of this is over a quarter of an inch deep, so 250 deep. So it's uh, quite thin, and of course... It's not in areas that you would normally... I mean, maybe if you UT'd the side of a T, you would have found these here, but these being in the neck of the the T most likely would not have been identified by traditional manual, manual UT thickness. So I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. Get a real good close-up. Now, if you guys want to pause it, you can. Let's see. And you see that in the sectioned areas, they even cut through the, the pitting. And I've got another sample I'll show you. Same sort of service on a piece of 2 inch. Anyway, I thought you guys might find this interesting. I know I geek out about stuff like this, and it's not often we get the luxury of sectioning something that uh, we found anyway thanks for joining me here at the bench freedom talk to you guys later bye